time no see and welcome to Artwork and Battery once again. Uh, to make sh things short, summer's been busy and kept me from almost anything. Well, nonetheless, I finished some models and I'm going to show you the uh, progress I made up today. And I will be featuring the RSN Amatura soon nonetheless. Oh, and one more thing. I won't be doing picture in picture this time. I will show you the photographs I took from my miniatures and then I want to know from you what you like best out of the three painting updates I did up to now. First off, Epic Magnus in a bright red with golden plates. Under his foot, a warjack in my signal color scheme. Well, it's enough said, I played him with his bad seeds tier. The alternate journeyman warcaster, well, she's painted in my regular ske uh, color scheme and, uh, well, I just bought her for the model. In case she hadn't seen many table time up to now. Next up, Stormblade, Officer and Standard Bearer. Well, more Officer than Standard Bearer, for the Standard Bearer took a little tumble off my table and had serious paint damage, which I was too lazy to repair up to now. Well, the banner uh, nonetheless could be saved, so here are the pictures. Next up is a Godson Avalanche, and I stuck to the uh, rather classic cream and brown theme. So, well, for some of you might wonder what the name is about, well, Rumbler is a certain reference, so figure it out. My second hunter, again with a freehand Cygnus and all custom Grenadier arm equipped with the axe. Um, I'd like to know from you if you like this color scheme better than the original one, which will follow up now. And this is my first hunter I ever painted. And here's a quick snapshot of my Hoggenhall Deterior Core leader. And uh, she was, uh, well... <laughs> Quick the project because I needed to paint something not blue for a while. So, welcome to this issue again, and here she is the Banshee class dreadnought from Firestorm Armada, almost fresh from the shelves. So, and like all Spartan blisters, this baby opens up on the back. It's got some paper cover here and ah, there it is, the most important card of the whole game. The stat card. I'm gonna keep on to that because otherwise I have to print out some spiffy PDF. Holy moly! That's one big base, if you compare it to the regular size. So, two little fins, obviously for the bottom. Some rather large foam inlay. Gonna keep on to that. Three base pins, as seen, and holy moly. Isn't that some beautiful piece of work? Well, there are some sprue residues, but uh, I'd say they can easily be removed. No major mold lines on the main torso. That's nice. Had a battleship that ran one mold line right across everything. The engine blocks, same here. Some residue, but nothing extraordinary. Second engine block the same. Rather small air bubbles, no problem at all. First piece of the resin piece of the hull. Yeah, some resin res residue, but again, nothing that can't be worked off. The other one came up a bit nicer. And finally, something for the bottom, I, I think. Yes, for the bottom. It goes here. Yes. 
So let's see. And here's some pewter. Remove that right away. So let's see. It should be gold, yeah, like that. Oh boy, this is going to be something. Huh. I can't wait to get that ready to paint. All right, so much for the unboxing. And here is how I prepare for paint. Well, some of you may wonder what kind of uh, stuff I mashed up in there, but I can assure you it's standard sized copper cable. And here is a picture of what it would look like once it's fully assembled. Some in between painting pictures. One is a close shot of the bridge, some pre assembly stages with some finished parts, some, well, close up shot of the pre mounted hull, the engine blocks. Well, I stuck to a green engine fire, and some more uh, in between stages on the hull, but nothing extraordinary. But here she is, all finished and ready to hit the table. I will just keep quiet for a while and play some music. Well, that concludes today's episode. For the next issue, mm, let's say no more painted models for me for a while, mm, no tournament report, and uh, maybe something more hands-on, like mm, the beginnings of a step-by-step -step guide to pinning. Well, some people may have their problems with that and uh, well it's not exactly rocket science but it's not easy on the other hand either so I hope I can help you with that that leaves me only at for crowning country see you soon. <laughs>